Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you how I wrap my hair at night and I also wanted to tell you what I do to my hair, let's say if I get water on it after I take a shower, like usually it's like the, the edges of my hair, the roots of my hair that get wet sometimes when, I, when I'm when i in the shower. Also if you guys do have like some kind of recommendation how you guys prevent your hair from getting wet while you're in the shower, leave me a comment down below. But what I like to do is after I get out the shower, let's say like I wet this side right here, right? And it's like looking a little wavy. I'll just take my blow dryer and just blow dry that section right there. So I don't go in with a, I don't use the flat iron after I straighten it the first time. So I just use the blow dryer if I need to touch up my hair before work or if I'm going out somewhere and my hair is looking a little like, you know, I use the blow dryer. So now I'm going to show you what I do to wrap my hair. So you're going to need a mesh wrap. I believe that's what it's called. I'll put like the, the name of what this is actually called. It looks like this and it just opens up like that and I love this. What I love about this most is that it stays in my hair. Now the bobby pins that I use, I'm going to show you them. Are these the ones? Yeah, these are the ones. These are the bobby pins that I use. They're from the brand Diane and they're they're curved bobby pins. So they're not like straight. They have like a curve to it. I don't know if you guys can see that. But the reason why I picked these over the straight bobby pins is because it lays because you know your head has like a curve on it. But yeah, these really big bobby pins, I believe these are two and a half inches, don't leave any marks on my head you know, after I unwrap my hair. So that's why I recommend getting the really big ones. Um, need. And then I just use this brush right here. It's a wig brush. And that white stuff on my brush is from, what did I spray on this? I sprayed dry shampoo on it. So that's what that white stuff on, on it is. But I like to use this wig brush. It just, I don't know, makes it easier to wrap my hair. So. This is what you're going to do. Think about how you want your hair, what side you want your hair to be parted when you wake up in the morning. So if you want your hair to be parted on this side, that would be me right now, then you're going to wrap in the opposite direction. Okay? And I really don't have an explanation, but it just works like that. I, get, I don't know. I don't have an explanation, but yeah, that's what you do. So if you want to have your hair when you wake up in the morning on this side, like to the side or whatever, this side, then you wrap going around this way. I hope I'm making sense to you guys. So because I want my bangs are like on this side, I wrap, I part my hair on this side. And my wrapping skills are not the best, but When I, when I wake up in the morning, like it doesn't matter how sloppy your wrapping is, your hair still turns out good in the morning. So don't worry too much about that. All right. So I start with this side like this and I comb down and I press down as I'm combing. And then I start laying the bobby pins. Just comb the hair down like so. And look down while you're doing it too. Just makes your life easier.
All right, so I'm going to fix this little piece that came out the best of my abilities. But trust me, like, there's some days where my wrapping, like, when I wrap my hair, it looks horrible. But then I wake up and my hair is like, you good. You good. So I don't worry too much about having my wrap completely perfect. As long as it's going in a circular motion, you're good. And with, if you do it like every night, you're just gonna, it's just gonna come natural, natural to you to wrap your hair. All right. As you can see right now, it looks a hot mess, but trust me, when I wake up, my hair is fine and I have no dents in my hair. If you can't find the curved bobby pins, but I highly recommend the curved ones, then just get really big, really big straight ones. That'll help too, but I've come to find out that the curved ones just work better when it comes to wrapping my hair. So I just take this like that, wrap it like this, and wrap it right there. Push it up a little bit. My ears, fix your ears, girl. And um, yeah, that's all I do. And I sleep like this and my hair does not come out, which is just crazy to me. I used to wrap a different way where I would wrap my hair, you know, in bobby pins, put this net over it and then take out the bobby pins. But I love this way so much better. This, this is just so much easier for me because I don't have to remove any bobby pins. So I don't know. I just like this way better. And um, yeah, what I love about wrapping too, wrapping my hair at night is that when I wake up in the morning to wash my face, this protects my hair as well. So just, you know, some more information. But that's it. That's all that I do. You can take your ears out if you want like that. But yeah, you see like... It doesn't need to be perfect. That's it. That's it, girl. That's it. That's how I wrap my hair. That's how I help it stay straight longer. And I notice that when I don't do this at night, that's when I have to use my blow dryer to touch up my hair. So if you wrap every night like this, then you wouldn't have to touch up so much. But sometimes like my hair gets wet and then I have to use the blow dryer. So when you wake up in the morning, you just take all the bobby pins out. Do you guys see that? It's just wrapping your hair just smooth. Do you see how smooth that already looks? Do you guys see that? Just from wrapping it for not even a minute. And then I like my hair on this side. It just smooths your hair out. It's amazing. It's amazing what a, what a do we could do. Bye guys.